Cranium Asiaticum, agroplants.org, also known as giant cranium lily or spider lily. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe and if you want to purchase this plant, uh, there is a link below, link in the right top side and if you purchase, this is donation for this channel. So this Cranium Asiaticum, this is a Abascus Gophit, it means there is a huge bulb in the, in the ground. And it's a perennial evergreen or semi decidus, uh, used as ornamental plant for the fragrant flowers, and can grow in the subtropical, temperate, or Mediterranean climate. Growing in hardiness zone from seven to ten, and with the right care, you even can grow it in eleven a. The leaves are green in linear shape, a connected uh, group, not something special. Uh, the flowers are fragrant white as you can see this is the flowers uh, they, are, they have narrow petals and uh, how to grow it so it's require wetland or swamp heavy soil plant uh, the plant prefer rich soil with organic matter uh, better to add some fertilizer before before blooming season um, and after this uh, fertilizer for the leaves, for the growing of the leaves, especially when the plant is young, uh, better to add some fertilizer in order to make it uh, grow. Better to add chopped mulch to keep the humidity, the moist of the soil. Uh, you can start to grow it by seeds, plant or just uh, separation of bulbs or buy a bulb. Uh, when you buy a bulb, the best to do it uh, in the autumn to the mid-winter. Uh, also in the spring before it start to grow uh, after this it start to grow there isn't actually a problem after this it just become a plant just by the plant itself uh, be aware that this plant is aggressive and planting season will be spring in hardiness zone of 7 spring to summer in hardiness zone of 8 until 9 spring to autumn in hardiness zone of 10 and all the year in hardiness zone of 11a uh, how to plant the bulb so take dig a hole bigger at least five times uh, put a lot of organic matter hummus uh, mix it with the soil cover it then put the bulbs uh, at least one inch from the top of the bulb cover it it's been two cent two and a half centimeters uh, and accept this uh, major pest snail borers nematode bulbs mites bulb fly and grasshopper Pruning season will be in the autumn to the winter and usually just the dead parts uh, to cut. The height of the plant will be from 0.5 to 1.2 meters so it's been 2 until 4 feet and in the right condition it's a medium growing plant and it grows very slowly when the plant is young. When I mean young I mean that there is only one bulb. I don't mean that you have the mother plants and next to it a new plants. I mean that you have only one bulb because when you have like uh, the mother plants and the daughter plants uh, they are connected to each other and there is nutrient uh, trans transport transportation between the mother to the daughter and it's helped to the plant grow much faster. Um, water requirement will be average to big amount of water, uh, light requirement condition full sun to half shade it's possible uh, might bloom less good and if you want to grow it in a container so from 5 until 10 liters so it's been 1.2 until uh, 2.5 of gallons this is the minimum uh, use potting mix uh, check that uh, Use a good soil like a potting mix or pit soil with some uh, something like cocoa cork, uh, cocoa cork, anything organic you can just use compost. It will be amazing. Blooming season will be in the spring, and don't forget that the flowers are uh, fragrant. Except this, it's easy plant to grow without special requirement, and this plant is. Uh, quite of amazing by that the moment that you put it it just establish after establish it's every year will bloom uh, just put water and some fertilizer that's all
That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, and of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant, and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy, and come visit us again.